Welcome to Life on the Big Rock. Enjoy weekly videos from the Big Island, Hawaii. Don't forget to subscribe and join in the adventures as we travel around and take in the sights and sounds. Enjoy the embrace of the warm, salty air and let the soothing relaxation set in. Experience the beauty of nature and what the Big Island has to offer. Adjust your attitude and enjoy virtual tours from the most remote islands in the world. And don't forget to always take care of this big blue rock we all call home. This week on Life on the Big Rock, follow us as we travel around the Big Island of Hawaii and highlight the top three scenic drives, the top three day trips, and the top three parks to visit. If you are not the type of person to be in a rush to get from one place to another and want to discover the expansive beauty of the island, take your time, drive slowly, and enjoy the views. These scenic drives will bring you closer to the real Hawaii. Most of the roads on the Big Island are scenic in their own way, but some are more special than others. I watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking And I can't help but smile do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that I would, cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever, 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 forever I watch you and We begin just out of Hilo following Highway 19 North. Enjoy the scenic overlooks of the coastline. This is a favorite drive because of the many bridges that cross the green valleys and rivers along the way. The four mile scenic loop, which winds its way through Onomea Bay, is one of the most famous scenic routes on the island. It is a dramatic winding road through lush rainforests along a four mile stretch of the old Mamalahoa Highway and gives stunning views of the Onomea Bay. If you want to get out and stretch your legs, the Hawaii Tropical Botanical Garden is a great place to do this. As some say, it is a walk in paradise through a stunningly beautiful garden. Sing, won't you sing with me? Leave everything for me. Stay the night. Oh, miss your flight. Shut the world out Let's hang out Oh, I used to see in colors Now it's gray Till I met you at the concert The other day The whole room lit up with warmth 
Next, we head south out of Hilo following Highway 11 to Highway 130 through Pahoa Town. And down Highway 132, we find the Kalapana Kapoho Road, also known as the Red Road. Here you will find a magical drive through tree tunnels formed by Kamani trees. Along this favorite scenic drive, you will find many views of the rugged coastline. Keep your eye out for the secluded paths just off the road that lead you to breathtaking overlooks of the ocean. During high tides, you can experience the raw power of the ocean as the crashing waves burst high into the air against the lava cliffs. There are two parks to visit before the road abruptly ends at Isaac Halle Beach Park, where it has been cut off by the most recent lava flow of 2018. On our final scenic drive, we head to the high country in the town of Volcano. Here we find Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and Chain of Craters Road. Upon entry into the park, follow Crater Rim Drive headed south and follow the signs to Chain of Craters Road. This is a long 20 mile road that'll take you down to the coastline and skirts inactive volcano craters along the way. At an elevation of 4,000 feet, this awe-inspiring drive takes you all the way down to sea level over the lava-covered flanks of the Kilauea volcano. Plan at least two and a half hours for this drive so you can explore and take in the sights. This drive is best in the early morning or later afternoon for dramatic sunsets. The Big Island overflows with bucket list worthy experiences. Pack up your sunscreen and picnic basket before heading out on your day trip excursion. Remember to bring good shoes and lots of water because you never know where you'll end up. With so much natural beauty, it is easy to lose track of time. And as you embrace nature and what the Big Island has to offer, Remember these six things. Mindfully seek and wander, but not wander where you don't belong. Take care of the land and sea. Admire wildlife from a distance. Do not take what isn't yours. Leave lava rocks and sand where it lies. Pay attention to ocean conditions. Never turn your back to the Pacific. When rain falls, remain high above ground and out of rivers and streams. 
And last but not least, be a steward of the land. Pick up after yourself. Leave things better than they were when you arrived. If you're like most people, you romanticize the thought of white sand beaches, aquamarine waters, and epic sunsets on the beach. The Big Island's west side is where you will find a multitude of sandy beaches. Just out of Kona, head north of Highway 19 and look for Keikaha Kai State Park. This park has some of the best beaches on the island. Buckle up and be ready for a bumpy ride down a mostly undeveloped road down to the beaches. Pack your bag with snorkel gear and an umbrella for shade and of course lots of water and snacks. Also bring good shoes if you're feeling adventurous and want to hike out to Makalabena and get away to a remote, mostly unpopulated, soft as cotton white sand beach. The Big Island is a wonderful world of waterfalls. Many waterfalls can be found on the north and east sides of the island. Here you will find spectacular scenes of falling water framed by lush and tropical rainforests. There are falls of many shapes and sizes. Keep your eye out for quaint little falls finding their way through crevices and lava cliffs and of course you can't miss the majestic waterfalls. Some with drops of 500 feet and more. As we head north out of Hilo up Highway 19, this will lead us to the island's most popular falls, Akaka Falls. A short half mile hike on a winding path through colorful bamboo and lush green tropical plants leads you to a 422-foot waterfall that has made its way through a small green valley. If you're looking to find crystal clear warm waters that are full of diverse native marine life, there are plenty of great spots around the Big Island to snorkel, swimming amongst fish of every size, shape, and color. Keep in mind there are areas better suited for snorkeling than others. And remember that these areas are sensitive to marine life habitats and that you should wear only reef safe sunscreen or use a sun shirt instead of sunscreen to help protect the coral reefs. On the west side of the island, head south out of Kona along Highway 11 to Highway 160 and this will lead you down a windy road to beautiful vistas of the coastline. Here you will find the most popular snorkeling on the Big Island, Honaunau Bay, also known as Two-Step. It's best to arrive early due to the popularity and to avoid the crowd. If you're looking to snorkel on the east side of the island, the Hilo side, don't miss Richardson's Ocean Park. This family-friendly park is the best choice for snorkeling. This spring-fed tide pool is shallow and almost current-free. Surrounded by shady trees and ponds with a tiny beach for easy entry, this park is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. with lifeguards on duty. If exploring parks is your thing, the Big Island is where you will find four of the five national parks found in Hawaii. Filled with incredible natural beauty and rich cultural history, the Big Island also hosts 14 state parks that are evenly spread along the coast of the island. But the most iconic and popular park can be found inland, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. 
on the flanks of Kilauea and Mauna Loa Volcano. This is one of the few places on the planet to watch an active volcano up close and personal. Since the first documented eruption in 1843, it has erupted more than three dozen times. Kilauea, on the east side of Mauna Loa, is the world's most active volcano. Halima'uma'u Crater, located in the volcano's caldera, is the fiery heartbeat and most active vent. In 2018, Kilauea erupted and sent volcanic ash 30,000 feet into the air. The eruption collapsed approximately 2,000 feet of the crater's summit. Located in downtown Hilo, you will find Wailoa River State Park. For those who like to wander and relax, this is the perfect park to see amazing reflections off the water. The park encircles Waiakea Pond, which is a spring-fed estuary with walking paths and pedestrian bridges that allow you to see down into the water and occasionally see the fish and turtles swimming by. Here you can also find the ornate statue in the likeness of King Kamehameha the Great. Just up the road from here you can find Wailuku River State Park, home to the famous Rainbow Falls and several other waterfalls up and down Wailuku River. Rainbow Falls takes its name from rainbows formed by the mists and sunlight. It's best to catch the rainbows first thing in the morning. Above Rainbow Falls, Follow the road up to the boiling pots, a series of large pools whose waters seem to be boiling as it rolls over many rocks en route to the ocean. To see the site of the first extensive contact between Hawaiians and Westerners with the arrival of Captain Cook in 1779, visit Kealakekua Bay Historical Park. To see the Captain Cook monument up close, you will have to take a rugged four mile hike out and back. Otherwise I recommend a paddleboard to cross the bay and don't forget your snorkel gear for some fantastic snorkeling. I met an old man I said, tell me your story He took out a notepad Wrote something for me Then he kept walking on down the road And I watched him disappear like smoke And I thought I'd just seen a ghost Then I looked down at what he he said, son, when you grow up, you'll be fine I know you've got questions on your mind Life is gonna happen one way or the other Whether you like it or not Stop looking for the answers and you'll find
searching for glory I took out an open And wrote in my story Then I kept walking on down the road Pray he reads what's on the wall And takes to heart what I wrote I said, son, when you grow up you'll be fine I know you've got questions on your mind Life is gonna happen one way or the other For the answers, then you'll find what you've got. When you grow up, you'll be fine. I know you've got questions on your mind. Life is gonna happen one way or the other, whether you like it or not. Stop looking for the answers. Yeah.